Monday, French essay, math exam. Tuesday, biology quiz and English presentation. Wednesday, ethics essay and history's project due. How are we students supposed to keep up with all this work? How are we supposed to study for all those tests, prepare for all those projects, work, take time for ourselves, and still manage to be healthy? Today, honorable judges, ladies and gentlemen, the educational system does not help students to pursue their dreams, but rather makes them feel overwhelmed. Testing is not effective for students. The grading system is actually based on bad values, and that actually causes severe anxiety problems and depression to many students. Your first question probably is, why are tests not effective? Well, first of all, one of the main reasons is simply due to the increase in stress. St students stress occur as, those, as they know that those grades will affect their future academic scores, which means they cannot apply to every program in college. Those tests could have a bad impact on the ungraduate's future life, which means they will do anything to pass it, such as, as many of us probably already did, cheat and pick on our paper. Stay awake all night to study for those evaluation. Certain students even reaches the point of taking concentration pills to make sure they get good results. Does this sound normal to you? Because to me, it does not. How can a piece of paper define how intelligent you are? Those tests do not value our, our creativity nor our diversity. Uh, if your answer does not follow the grading format, you're wrong, and then consider it a failure. Those tests forces the students to remember the information instead of understanding it completely. Uh, the system is not based on what you learn, but it is based on what you were able to memorize and the grades you were able to obtain. The system does not allow the students to believe in themselves and to reach their capacity, uh, no, to reach their full potentials. For students in school, grades are actually quite degrading. A student who, who is graded all the time is actually quite crippling. In life, the best way to learn is learning from your own mistakes. Although on tests, you are forbidden to make any kinds of mistakes. You are rewarded for remembering the information in the exact way you were told. However, many people have succeeded in life without those grades. So does this mean grades are simply measuring the wrong thing? People believe that a percentage will indicate a student's measure of skill. Students feel conditioned to only getting A's and B's to make mom and dad proud. Grades could turn honest kids into cheaters. A teacher once asked his students why they would copy their own peers. The answer he would get the most was, well, sir, it's due next period, and I'll get a zero if I don't hand it in. Or the other answer would be, well, sir, if I do not pass this evaluation, I will not be rewarded. But hey, if a class had no grading, then what would be the point of cheating? If there were no grades, those kids could actually show and develop their full potentials and their creativity. Isn't that what we need? Everyone would be equal. No one would be better than you, nor better than her. We would learn to complete each other's ideas and we would, uh, with our own knowledge. We would learn by ourselves and we would make each other evolved in things we are actually interested in. The rate of students that do suffer from anxiety and depression at young ages are pretty high. It was shown that at least four out of 10 students do suffer from this sickness. So the question to ask is, why does the exposure to school cause so much anxiety and depression? Many researchers have demonstrated that students do not see school as a place to find themselves, but rather a place where failure is severely punished and humiliating. Many teens said that they were overwhelmed and discouraged due to the amount of work, tests, and projects they were assigned to. Especially if you are expected to bring back home very high grades and begin to struggle with your course load. I would like to finish off with a quote of Thomas Armstrong, which sums up a majority of the message I've been sharing with you. We are tested within an artificial learning environment. We are timed. We can't talk to others. We can't use references of learning device. We can't get up and move around. How often does real world look like this? But yet, people still claim that education prepares students for the real world. Isn't it clear to see that tests or exams surely do not represent what we will truly be facing once we get out there? But what we will need is our creativity and diversity. Uh, in fact, the school system have been proven to have a lot more negative aspects than positive one. If we continue to judge students on their ability to achieve favorable grades on test or exam, students will continue to believe that they're not good enough. Thank you.